what's going on everybody it's ETA Prime back here again what you're seeing on the table right now is the Lenovo Legion Y700 Android gaming tablet now we did take a look at this tablet a few weeks ago on the channel personally one of my favorites right now it's got a 120 Hertz 8.4 inch display a Snapdragon 870 and 12 gigs of RAM we can basically do anything we want on this tablet and the form factor is great coming in at 8.4 inches I think it's almost the perfect size for a handheld gaming tablet but in this video I want to show you some features that this has built in we can actually turn this into a full-fledged Android desktop PC slash gaming console so if you're not familiar with the Y700 you might want to check out my first video but this thing is a great little performer when it comes to Android gaming and emulation plus it's got beast mode built in which actually ups the clocks on the CPU and GPU to get a little better performance out of it the cooling system it has built in works out really well I haven't hit thermal throttle with it and as a handheld emulation slash Android gaming console I love the form factor we can also go directly into PC mode on the screen but it's a bit small for my liking but luckily this does support display over USB type C I've been able to go up to 1440p 120 Hertz with it I'm not exactly sure if it has 4k capabilities over USB type C but in my opinion 1440p is plenty for a tablet like this and in order to do this I use a USB type C to HDMI adapter now you can always cast this if you want to but having a wired connection is going to alleviate any kind of latency both of these on the table right now are cheaper options. I've got a dock with three USB 3.0 ports. We've also got power in and HDMI out. Or you could go with an adapter that has extra features like micro SD, full size SD, Ethernet, more USB. It's really up to you. In this video, I'm going to be utilizing the dock because it actually works as a great stand for this tablet also. I've already got power, HDMI, and a mouse and keyboard connected to the dock, and it's going to work with the tablet. There's a couple ways to connect this. We can actually mirror the screen, but personally, the way I like doing it is PC mode. It does have the option to use the built-in screen on the tablet as a trackpad and keyboard, but I've got a keyboard plugged into the dock, and we can use it in PC mode. Now, if you're not familiar with PC mode on Android, there's a few different manufacturers out there that actually have this, like Samsung with their Samsung DeX. Motorola has Ready 4. I think Huawei has their own. LG was working on one that looked really promising, but now they don't make phones. But Lenovo has PC mode. On a lot of their newer tablets, you can access this. Obviously, this is a Legion branded tablet. It's the Y700, but it is made by Lenovo. And we've got the option here to run this on a bigger display. We've got plenty of power with that Snapdragon 870. It would be nice to have something like this with a Gen 1 CPU, but uh, overall the 870 does handle everything that I've thrown at it pretty well. We've got full multitasking here, multi-windows. We can open up a ton of different apps at the same time. You could actually watch a video and play a game at the same time if you want to, or you could just browse the web, edit some documents, and use this like you would a normal PC. Now it's obviously running Android, but I did want to show off a little bit of video playback because the 870 does handle 4K video playback really well. Just make sure we're at 4K here, and it does support HDR over USB Type-C, which is a big plus. So we'll go ahead and start this up. 4K, 60fps, HDR from YouTube, running on the bigger display. Now everything is running through USB Type-C on the tablet to the larger display. And yes, by the way, when you're in PC mode, the tablet is fully functional. So if we wanted to run PC mode on the larger display and our tablet mode on the other one, we could definitely do it. But this is actually great to get some work done, some web browsing, some document editing, email checking. If you're used to using a mouse and keyboard to navigate your operating system, this definitely works out really well. So I'll go ahead and open up Google Play and a web browser at the same time. So you can definitely multitask on this, but one of the big reasons I like doing this is for gaming. Be it native Android gaming or emulation, even cloud gaming works out pretty well. So here's Minecraft, I'm using a controller, plus this does have support for keyboard and mouse, but unfortunately Minecraft doesn't scale very well when it comes to Android desktop mode. Even in DeX, I've never really had good luck, so you can see that I've kind of just opened the window up a little more. We can definitely resize it, but there's no way to go full screen with it in desktop mode. That's just the way Minecraft is right now with Android, but with everything else that I've tested, I've been able to go full screen no problem at all. So we just took a look at PC mode, but we can also mirror the display. Since my monitor and most TVs are going to be 16 by 9 and the built-in screen on the tablet is 16 by 10, you will get those black bars on the side. 
But with this, we can access all of the gaming features of the Y700, like going into beast mode when we're playing something like Genshin Impact. And we've also got that floating widget, so it'll give us our FPS and everything like that on the bigger display, because basically we're just mirroring the built-in display on the tablet. Know a lot of people won't be into this because of the black bars, but it doesn't bug me much to run it with some games that I like using. But the way I really like to play is in full screen mode or PC mode here. That way we can use the full screen here on the secondary monitor. I've got Asphalt 9 downloaded from Google Play using an Xbox controller running perfectly fine on the Snapdragon 870. Another thing I like setting this thing up with is cloud gaming or game streaming. This is uh, Xbox Game Pass or xCloud Xbox Game Streaming, Forza Horizon 5. And by the way, yeah, this tablet does have Wi-Fi 6 built in, but you could add an Ethernet adapter just to get a little better performance out of cloud gaming. And I've also been using this a lot with Steam Link and Moonlight. You can just download those directly from Google Play. Or you could go with GeForce Now or Stadia. It's really up to you and what you want to use. But one of my all-time favorite things to do with this tablet in PC mode is run my favorite emulators. From within the emulator itself, I'm as close as I can get to 1440p, given that we're basically at 4x3 here with those black bars on the side. You could run this at a 16x9 aspect ratio. We do have the option from the emulator settings, but I like to keep it as close to original, at least with the aspect ratio, and upscale that resolution, because it does make these Dreamcast games look really good. Another emulator that actually works very well on the 870 is the Dolphin emulator for GameCube and Wii. Now going into this, just do a little bit of research. There are some games that will still struggle on the 870, but there's still some really great GameCube and Wii games that will run at full speed. Like Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. This is a Wii game, one of my favorite fighting games of all time. I'm using the OpenGL back in here, but you could also go with Vulcan with some games. But as you can see, this is running really, really well. The FPS is up in the top right hand corner, I know it's a bit hard to see. We do get a few dips every once in a while, but this is really playable on the tablet. And the final emulator we're taking a look at is EtherSX2 for some PS2 emulation. So with things like God of War, I did have to drop it down to 1x resolution, but Gran Turismo 4 is at 3x using the Vulcan back in. There are a couple fluctuations every once in a while on the 870, but overall we are getting some really good performance out of PS2 emulation on this tablet. So yeah, I've actually been really enjoying the Y700, especially using it in PC mode. I've got a video running in YouTube on the big monitor right now. We can actually use the tablet like it is. Now there is one downside to using PC mode while gaming over using the built-in screen or mirror mode, and that's the fact that we can't enter Legion Realm. And from here, we do have a lot of tweaks that we can do. We can go to beast mode. We can actually set different profiles for the GPU while we're gaming. We also get nice gaming overlays from Legion Realm, like FPS, network speed, our ping, and everything like that. Plus there's some plugins that you can download like specifically one for Genshin Impact that allows you to use a keyboard or a controller with the game on the tablet. And if you play Genshin Impact on Android, you know it's been a long time coming getting real controller support. So it is added here with Legion Realm, but unfortunately in PC mode, we just can't access all of these extra features. But I still prefer playing most of my games and emulators in PC mode, just given that we have that full screen to work with. But yeah, I mean, I do think that this is the future. There's already a lot of people out there that don't own a laptop. They just use their phone for everything. And I wish that more manufacturers would jump on the bandwagon. One that's really taken off recently is Motorola Ready 4. Not a great name, but on their higher end Motorola devices, they have a desktop mode, which is absolutely amazing. It supports 4K 60 Hertz displays. And I've just had really great performance with it on the new Edge 30 with that Snapdragon Gen 1. And not to mention Samsung. They've had DeX built into their higher end S line of phones since the Galaxy S8. They basically started this all with DeX. And when it comes down to it, it's definitely one of my favorite Android based desktop operating systems. Comes on the higher end Galaxy Tab line and the S line. So if you've got one, definitely try it out. You'll probably be impressed by the performance, especially if you've got a newer phone like an S21 or an S22. But when it comes down to the Y700, love the form factor here. I love the fact that we can do up to 1440p, 60 out to a monitor. And we've got PC mode here that'll work with a mouse and keyboard. You could also plug Ethernet in, hard drives. It's really up to you and the adapter you're using. If you're interested in learning more about this tablet, I will leave a couple links in the description. And if there's anything else you want to see running on it, just let me know in the comments below. 
But that's it for this one. Like always, thanks for watching.